Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. For the dealings of the spirit in this place how that you are guiding us through spiritual paths that will bring us to the realm of grace the realm of power the realm of exploits in the spirit that will be men of strength and power and structure Lord, I pray that you put like never before a hunger for spiritual things that we will covet the reality of the realm of the spirit above and beyond anything that is in this realm. Just soak in the glory one minute. Let the instruments just play. Just let his presence rest upon you. Teaching you the art of worship. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. And Moses said, Do not let us depart from here. He said, For how shall the people know we are separate except your presence go with us? He said, Lord, do not let us depart from here. There is a mystery of his majestic presence. When the presence of the Lord comes upon a man, you become a living wonder. It's an aura of his presence. It's an atmosphere of his glory that words cannot articulate. Every time I pray, I pray that God will bring as many people into that realm where you will love his presence. For I have found out 
that the presence of God is all you need. Men chase after vain things. But when you have his presence, you have all of it. When you have his presence, the Bible says, and the Lord walking with them. And their words were confirmed with signs following. And the Lord walking with them. This is not about grammar. This is not about stories. The Bible says, and when three Hebrew boys were thrown in the fire, a presence came with them. Presence. Lord, let your presence. So we bow as we enter the throne room. And we cast ourselves down at your feet, Lord. For you are holy, thou art holy. There is none like you. For in your presence, that is where I must be. Lord, I bow as I enter the throne room. Lord, I cast myself down at your feet, Lord. For you are holy, you are holy. There is none like you. For in your presence, that is where we must be. In your presence, that is where I must be. It's in your presence, that is where it's in your glory. That is where it's in your shakina. That is where. That is where. Yeah, man, na 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 In your presence. That is where it's in your glory. That is where in your presence. That is where I must be. Now arise, oh Lord, and come to your resting place, you and the ark of your mind. And then we will rejoice. As we're clothed in your righteousness, we celebrate your life. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes. Oh, his mighty presence is in this place. Blessed are you, for you come in the name of our God. Blessed is he, 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 who comes in the name of our God. I hail you, Most High. I truly hail you, Most High. Hello, Kim Madonna.
Elohim Madonna Elohim Madonna Elohim Madonna Elohim Madonna Elohim Madonna His majestic presence, when that presence mantles you, it makes you a sign and a wonder. For there is a fire that comes from his presence. No demon can stand that fire, no devil can stand that fire. Infirmity cannot stand it. That's the place where true faith is incubated. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. If the Lord had not been on my side, now may Israel sing. Go ahead and sing in the spirit. Find melodies of the spirit. You're becoming mighty men and women of the spirit. Be your blessing and glory and honor and power forever. Be your blessing and honor, glory and power forever. to the most high thank you for your presence no matter how hardened your heart is you cannot stand this majestic presence of God no matter how much of a stony heart you have when his true presence shows up smashes that stony heart the Bible says the mountains keep like lambs before him who is this God whose glorious and majestic presence can break the rocks into pieces. Lord, let every stony heart become a heart of flesh. Hallelujah. Many of you may not realize why we take our time to press into his presence there is a mystery of God's presence that the body of Christ has forgotten this is not just about prayer this is about understanding how to step into his presence the presence of the Lord comes upon you For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb of the Lord. And on 
to you I lift my hands in praise You are the Lamb of God This is not a special number You are glory Listen to what you are saying And you are worthy to be praised You are the Lamb Listen, if you do not love God and have a passion for him beyond your needs, beyond your life, beyond your ambition, beyond your schooling, let me tell you something. You will never taste of the blessings and the glory of God. For he will screen your heart until he becomes king of kings and lord of lords. Whatever else you put there, he said, lovest thou me more than this. I know you love me, but why have other things taken my place? Lovest thou me. When they saw the miracles and the manifestations and the mighty things that Jesus did, they came and they wanted to make him king. Ask them, he said, lovest thou me? We have seen the miracles and the wonderful things God is doing in this place. But tonight, can you lay aside for a minute your hunger for healing or for a miracle in your life or for a breakthrough and just say, Lord, I worship you for who you are. Just for who you are. I know that I desire a miracle, but tonight I'm not tying my worship to anything. I'm just looking for ways to express that you are good. I'm looking for ways to express that you are good. Can you bless him? Because he has been faithful. Bless him. Make sure you are blessing him in one minute. This is what we are here for. Please bless him. Bless him in one minute. I know why I'm asking you to do these things. We are responding according to the things that are happening in the spirit. Good 
chapter 2 tonight we have to break into something in the spirit you may not understand why we are worshipping for thus saith the Lord of hosts yet once it is a while and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land and I will shake the nations and the desire of nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory saith the lord of hosts the silver is mine and the gold is mine saith the lord of hosts and the glory of this latter house shall be greater than that of the former saith the lord and in this place i will give peace saith the lord hallelujah i was praying for tonight's meeting and the hand of the lord came upon me and in the spirit i saw a writing the season of reward and I just kept quiet and I was watching and the Lord told me he said announce to my people that they are stepping into prophetic seasons of harvest consolation and a reward a reward for labor in the spirit a reward for traveling defying yourself with the things you should chase after and I saw seasons of reward. And the Lord gave me this scripture. He says, I will fill this house with my glory. And the glory of the latter house shall far exceed. Far exceed. Let me tell you something. In this season we are entering, God is about to use your life and prove to men that it's not a waste to pursue God. That's why when I came up, I told you everything that is not of God is a waste. Are you listening to me? That's why you see me singing songs of thanks. I know the things that the Lord has shown me. And my job tonight is to direct us in the spirit into this blessing. This is not something that one or two people will just stand and testify on behalf of the house. That everyone will have a personal testimony. Oftentimes, when you begin to walk with the Lord, after you travel and show him that you love him more than the things people are looking for, he tells you to stand still and he brings the other things that men chase after and say, I give you as a reward, as a symbol of your staying in my presence. This is why I began to talk about God's presence. Aribiti Arabata Hail at Hobbiju Aribiti Arabata Hail at Hobbiju Holy One. How many of you believe what I'm saying? Because when people hear words like this, it falls on different kinds of soils. And the Bible says that the prophet said, by this time tomorrow, and someone dared to meander and come out and say, even if the windows of heaven were open, and he said, you will see it, so that you can confirm that God does not lie, but you will not eat of it. The Bible says they had the word just like we did. But the word did not profit them, not be mixed with faith. Let me tell you something. That the word of God is declared does not mean it will happen automatically in your heart. When it comes upon your heart and you take it and believe it as the word from God. It says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. But he said, believe in his prophets. The oracles that he uses to declare his counsel unto the people. And he said, therein you shall prosper. I bring you the word of the Lord tonight, Koinonia. We are entering a prophetic season of anointing for the house it has started. 
there is a new season of glory it's it's an opening and it took him from the east side the bible says that the river began to flow and he measured a thousand cubits these are realms and dimensions of operations in the spirit when god measures for you a thousand cubits and you walk in that level of the anointing and you are faithful and you are diligent then another thousand cubits is measured and he said the river rose down to my waist and he measured another thousand cubits and it was to my chest and then it became a river Kapota shalakata. it became a river and the bible says wherever that water went the fish that was dead came alive listen there are some things that are not possible at certain realms of anointings when you prove faithful to god what happens is a thousand cubits the measurement of the works of men how meticulous have you followed the plan to pattern the bible says he measured a thousand cubits and he told me now you can go deeper let me tell you glory has been opened over this house and God is bringing us as a house and as a family of faith into a new dimension of power and of the miraculous. He said this is a season of supernatural exploits and many of you are yet to see that dimension in its fullness but I tell you the spirit of God is beginning some prophetic works. You will see the miraculous the manifestation of God's grace you will see the manifestation of prosperity and the wealth and the blessings and the favor and the increase of God is already happening. It will happen by the hand of God. That's why I told you forget about the junks that people say Jacob have I loved Esau have I hated. Let me tell you something. It's not about gymnastics when you stay with God and stay on course. The Bible says the people began to move but Jesus retreated. They were six hours ahead. At the end of it he got up and started walking on the water. There will be an acceleration of the spirit. Many of you will see acceleration because you left some things behind to pursue God. He said forget about them. You will find them in your future. God is in this season about to take sacrifices. Things you would have done if you were not pursuing God. Some of you would have been in relationships if not because of your pursuit for God certain financial realms but in this prophetic season God is taking the things that are behind you because you have set your face like a flint he's taking the things that are behind and bringing it before you the Bible says I will do a walk in your days that even if it were told you you would not believe this is the season we're stepping into he said I will do a walk a walk that will cause your ears to tingle. Blessings that will come into your life. That will make you cry for days. You will leave the blessing alone and be crying. And be saying, what minutes these things, oh Lord. And the Lord will tell you, this is what I mean. When I say, seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness. And all other things. Influence, power. Let me tell you something. You will see influence. In this house and in the lives of individuals you know why the bible says if i be lifted up not a man of god not a doctrine not a sect and i tell you that we have lifted christ in this place as a result he said i will draw all men to myself if i be lifted up i will draw all men unto myself this is what the lord is doing in our lives hallelujah this is why many of you do not understand why there has been a season of rapid deliverances because of the strongholds and the works of darkness that are standing to contend against the breakthroughs of people. But tonight we are going to pray and we will stand in partnership with what the spirit is doing. The Bible says when you pray, say, let it be done in the earth as we have seen happen in the heavens. And so God reveals to us by prophecy the things that are resident in the realm of the spirit. And in the place of prayer, we agree with heaven and say amen. For it is the spirit in partnership with the bride that tells the world to come. And when the word comes, it becomes flesh. And it is made manifest in the midst of people. We call Koinonia a place of partnership and intimacy. I tell you rejoice. Because you are, God is about to use your life to prove men that have mocked your God. In your family, in your life, you will see acceleration. Believe the word of the Lord. Believe the word of the Lord. This is what God is doing in this season. You will see men walk in levels of glory. Men like God. And they looked at them and said, The gods have come unto us. 
Hallelujah. I bring you a word of the Lord. He said, fear not, I have redeemed you, Isaiah 43. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the fire, I will be with you. When you walk through the water, for many of you, you are about to enter seasons of grace and glory. Aha. Uh -huh. He said, and after two days, he will revive us. And on the third day, he will restore us. This is what is happening. And many come, where is their God? Upon Mount Zion, let me tell you what has been happening. The Bible says when that season comes in Mount Zion, the first thing that will happen is that there will be deliverance and holiness. And that's what has been happening to us in the last weeks. Immediately after that, the children of Jacob will begin to possess their body. Written in the word. It's a pattern in the spirit that every time God wants to bring people into their prophetic destiny and into their inheritance in light, there will be deliverance and holiness. And after which the sons of Jacob... Why the sons of Jacob? Because Jacob was a man of his presence. He said, I will not let you go. And he wrestled with that man in the night. So tonight I bring you a word. We are entering seasons of reward. I believe it with all my heart. Many of you have not seen a man who looks like a portrait of the blessings of the Lord. You have seen people who God blessed from jobs. You have seen people who God blessed from crooks and pranks. And all of this but wait and see God will use you and show you you will be a portrait of a man that the Lord has blessed Isaiah 51 he says God called Abraham let's turn there Shabakala Marata Subregedi Balana Basta Randrogo Subregedi Laka Subregedi Balana believe in what God is doing tonight is a prophetic meeting God is opening doors opening portals opening things in the spirit are you there verse 2 Isaiah 51 verse 2. Look unto Abraham. What happened to him? Thy father and to Sarah who bore thee. He said, I called him alone and I blessed him. Who blessed him? He said, I called him. I called him alone. Not as a crowd. Tonight God is calling men alone. This is not the issue of me and my roommate. Your personal faithfulness over the things of God. The Bible says, and one day the book of remembrance was opened over Mordecai. And the king could not sleep. He said, bring me the chronicles. And when it was opened, he said, this man has been faithful in this kingdom. This was an adumbration of how seasons of remembrance happens in the spirit. It doesn't happen every day the way men of God teach. It's a lie. But there is a time, a kairos moment. For the Bible says, if the cloud be full of rain, your daily obedience. That's why the Bible says, walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise. You will see a man who has been locked up and John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing. Can I tell you something? When the light of God comes upon your life, even you will be afraid of yourself. I know what it means for God to pick a man who is nothing. And when he has your heart, he said, My son, give me your heart. Except the Lord builds a house. He said he built it in vain. He didn't say the house will not be built. But it's in vain. And except the Lord watches over the city. He said it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep in the night. Only to eat the bread of sorrow but he gives his beloved sleep. Can I tell you something brothers and sisters? God is bringing us into a level and a measure of rest. As a ministry and as individuals. When the Lord showed me this I was excited. I was singing. I was dancing. I was praying because every time God shows you a thing in the spirit. The way you respond is by praise and thanksgiving. Are you listening to me? Judges, quickly.
Judges 1. Let me show you something there. Praise is the recipient of spiritual things. Every time God promises you something, every time God tells you you are stepping into a season of blessing, that's the time to engage prophetic praise. Judges 1. Who is there? Judges 1. Read verse 1 to 3. Anybody? Someone read with the mic, please. All right, let's just read here. Now, after the death of Joshua, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, Who shall be the first to go for us against the Canaanites? They were entering Canaan, they had seen it. Hallelujah. But who is going to lead the way? For them to enter into this prophetic destiny and they asked the lord they said lord how shall we receive this prophecy you have given us and he told them he said judah shall go up judah means praise in other words it is with your praise let praise lead the way as you step into that prophetic time he said for indeed i have delivered the land into his hand not into the hands of the israelites into the hands of judah are you listening to me so every time you are entering a prophetic season that's the time to praise him this is why we are praising him many of you do not know what we are doing rejoicing and saying lord we count you faithful it says judah shall go up for indeed i have delivered the land into his hands i have delivered the land into his hands and judah means praise hallelujah Praise is not just about singing and dancing. It's about acknowledging the power, the superiority, the grace of God. That God is able. The Bible says in Hebrews 11 verse 6, it says, For without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh unto him must believe. Are you persuaded that God is able? For I have read in my Bible how that a whole land was dying of famine. And in 24 hours, Katokabaya, and God used weak men, lepers that say, why we sit we here and perish? The Bible says when they were moving, God accelerated their effort so that they had the sound of chariots. And when it was time, the Bible says in the book of Chronicles that the prophet said, believe in the Lord. And you shall be established believing his prophets and you shall prosper and the bible says how that the worshipers were put in front and when they began to sing there was confusion in the camp of the enemy they began to kill themselves i believe in what god is doing please do not be part of those who will see and not step in i declare this word because i want all of us to believe it and know that there is a consolation. The kingdom of God works in a reward system. If God does not reward men, he's a wicked God. Every king in ancient times had times when he would step out and show his benevolence to the citizens. And every time you praise a king, you compel him to repeat what he did that made you praise him. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? I bring you the word of the Lord Koinonia. We are stepping into a fearful season. You will see the power of the Holy Ghost. God will orchestrate events. When God wants to destroy your life, he will send a man. I mean, when Satan wants to destroy your life, he will send a man. When God wants to, destroy, to bless you, he will also send a man. If you will hear my voice tonight, and believe that I'm bringing you the counsel of the Lord, you will be surprised. The Bible says, when again the Lord turned again our captivity, we were like them that dream. And so our mouths were filled with laughter. And the heathens tested. They said, the Lord has done great things for them. He said, turn aside our captivities as the streams in the Negev. It's a season where we are stepping into prophetic blessings. So men will see that there is a system in God. God does not want to call you and just make you a broke failure. He doesn't just want to call you into ministry and keep you frustrated. But he's saying, son, what I want is to first have your heart. There is a Chinese tree. That is popularly said, when you plant it, 
for about three years it will just be ticking down and it won't grow but within six months in the third or fourth year it will suddenly grow and become so tall this is what is going to happen to many people because the bible says the remnant of the house of jacob shall bear root downwards this is what we have been doing laboring in the spirit many of you have been given god has given you dangerous instructions empty your account you have done it and you are suffering you thought the miracle will come immediately it didn't come yet you said god you are faithful god said you are doing this to me you are showing me that you can do this Many of you, some of you who are students, God's scholarship, you carried everything and gave. And God said, you are doing this to me. You can't outgive me. If you outgive God, he stops being God. So every time you give to God, you provoke a dimension. And God said, I will set a new standard and let you know that I am God. We have many workers in this ministry that work tirelessly day and night. The worship team, the ushers, the protocol in the rain. I bring you a prophetic word. Koinonia, you are entering a season of reward. The chronicles is open over us tonight. And God is going to begin to reward men. You will see fearful testimonies here. Men will come. What others have been chasing for for years. Somebody will just come and give it to you. The Bible says Gentiles shall come to thy light. And kings to the brightness of your rising. He said your gates shall continually be open. To receive the forces of the Gentiles. I received this word. I know that is the word from the Lord. It will change people. We are stepping into a level of anointing. You will see things happen at the frequency of grace that will make you afraid. Inexplainable but undeniable. Inexplainable but undeniable. This is what happens when the grace of God comes upon a man. You cannot explain what is the mathematics behind this success. There is a hand and the Lord walking with them. And the Lord walking with them. I announce to you it's a season of exploits. This is the word from God. Believe it in your job. Believe it in your life. Ideas will come by the spirit. You are not fasting. You are not praying. It just comes. God brings it to you. Hallelujah. It shall come to pass that the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted. And all the nations will flow through it. Sometimes when I look at some people who come for koinonia. I know that if they were given an invitation card, no invitation card can bring this kind of people. You see them come and you know something brought them. The power and the grace of God. Hallelujah. Now is the time to forget about what who is saying about you or what your neighbor is saying this. Your roommates are saying you are always praying. You are, hold on. The day God blesses you, they will ask you that they want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. There are many ways God publicizes himself. One of it is that God blesses you in such a way that will make your enemies angry. God has a system package that he does that. When he blesses you, you say, Lord, to you be all the glory. And you will see how attractive your Christianity is. We are going to rise up and pray. This is the word I brought for you tonight. The word of the Lord. To the house of God. I bring you a word. We are step. This thing I'm talking about will start days from now. I'm not talking about months and weeks. See the Bible says Amos 3 verse 9. He said the Lord will not do anything. But reveal his counsel to his servants the prophets. Days from now. You will see all inspiring fearful dimensions of the anointing. Fearful dimensions of grace. I saw great criticism coming from people who are saying, how is this thing happening? But this is not new. This is why he prepares you before the blessing. Because it takes stamina to sustain the blessing. Hallelujah. You will see men step into levels of grace. Miracles and healings that you cannot explain. Even you will not be able to account for it. The power and the hand of God. Favor coming. Solomon was not asking. The queen of Sheba just got up, packaged herself, packaged all the gifts, traveled all the journey, and came to meet a man to bless him. 
when the hand of God is upon you, you become a sign and a wonder. How many of you are ready to pray tonight? I believe this. If you are doubting tonight, I'd like you to throw away that doubt. God is bigger than you. I believe in the word of the Lord. Manifestations of grace. You will see products of God's grace that will make people afraid. Believe me when I say this. There have been times in my life when I've made audacious statements like this. And then when the blessing comes, you will see. For the Bible says, that which I tell you in the secret place, declare thou on the mountain top. It will happen by the power of the Holy Spirit. There are angels already released to this effect. And I truly believe with all my heart that this is a personal affair. The Bible says, I call Abraham alone and bless him. Many of you will hear testimonies from your parents. Your father is not supposed to reach certain levels. They just call him and the people who ask, they say, what is your business? Hallelujah. Before we pray, one parable that Jesus gave, I've shared it again and again in this place. The Bible talks about a husband man who woke up in the morning and he met certain people. And he told them, he said, come and dress my vine. And they said, we'll do it only if we have an agreement with you. Are you listening to me? I said something some years ago and I received some dangerous criticisms from it. Dangerous criticism. I said it that the concept of what we call in the body of Christ covenant is wrong. A man can really not enter a covenant with God. Let me tell you the truth. Because one minute later you have broken your own part. And in a covenant there is no mercy. Go and ask the traditional rulers in your village. A, a, a covenant is put to be able to commit the highest integrity of those who are at work. But man in his nature is flawed. The best of man's righteousness is flawed. So God comes in the morning and meets those people. They say, Lord, we are going to work for you only if we have an agreement. God said, you are not coming because you love me. He said, fine, go to the farm. Later in the afternoon, he met certain people again. And he said, come, there was no agreement. They came because they loved him to the 11th hour. 11 hours. Some other people had been working for 11 hours. And someone just comes at the 11th hour. And he said, why are you sitting here? He said, no man will bring us into the vineyard. He said, come. And the Bible says, when he started paying them, those who made agreement, he went to them. He said, we agreed for a denary. Take those who did not agree say now since you entered the farm not staking your life i would have told you thank you and you would have still be grateful now let me pay you by my own standard and the bible says he paid them the same denary and he made them angry your blessing is going to annoy some people because they will not understand they are saying come on god this is not fair i got first class i got this and that my father is this god says jacob have i love esau have i hated if you are angry ask god what is happening in this season huh. for I have seen a mystery and this is what I announced it by the spirit that this is what will happen those who call themselves princes are going to be walking suddenly we who are servants God will carry us and put us on horses the Bible says I see a mystery it's a mystery because it shouldn't be so Princes should be the ones walking on horses and servants pushing them. But he said in the realm of the spirit, I will reverse it. All those who think they are the gods of themselves, they will walk while some servants will ride on horses. I believe the word of the Lord and I bring you the word of the Lord. We are going to pray. You are going to release this word by faith. The Bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written. I believe and so I speak. We also believe and therefore we speak. Listen, you're going to apply this in any every area of your life. And cry like a priest. And say, Lord, every part of my life will experience this prophetic word. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you the truth, brothers and sisters. When a woman is pregnant, look at me. Because of that pregnancy, I wanted to hold a man. You're a man, Mr. Man. Forget about the madness that happens in America. When a woman is pregnant, temporarily it will, it will, 
it will spoil her posture, correct? She may be spitting here and there. But forget about it. She's still waiting. Other women will look at her and say, Ah, and this lady used to be fine. Oh, what is this? See how her face is. It's none of your business. She's carrying something. The day she gives birth, even her enemies will visit her with, with food. But the Bible says, as soon as Zion travails, this is what you have been doing. There has been a traveling in the place of prayer, in the place of discipline. The unbelieving guy came. He said, just say yes to me. Let me change your story. He said, carry your story and go away. I don't want it. There is a story that comes from God. God said, you did this to me? Okay, hold on. I'm about to bring somebody. You prayed and said, oh Lord, whether the guy is blessed or not, let him just be godly. God said, I will give you double, double. You know that song they sing, double, double. God said, what is wrong with finding somebody that is anointed and blessed? Come on, brothers. You are not praying in tongues for nothing. The Bible says a time will come. This proverb will no longer be said in Israel. I prophesy to the brothers some proverbs over your life that guy, this brother is so broke. It's just like he loves God. Some proverbs will be extinct forever. You have been coming with your one sandal. You say, Lord, I will polish it and pray in tongues. Your prayer has torn your shirt. You sold it again. He tore it, you sold it again. You hold on and see. God will stop someone from sleeping in the night. Who say, my son is in need of something. He said, Gentiles shall come. See, I'm not motivating you tonight. I don't do that. I'm bringing you the counsel of the Lord. Hallelujah. And ladies, let me tell you something. You should pray like never before. You know why? Because in the realm of the spirit, a woman is the only gate through which another life comes into this realm. Are you listening to me? Women are gates in the realm of the spirit. You go to a ministry, you don't find women there, run away. There's big trouble. Because every time God is about to birth something in a season, you will see a multiplication of women. When Jesus died, all the men ran away. It was the women that summoned courage. They were gates in the spirit. The Bible calls them the wailing women. You go and look outside and see the number of ladies that had been coming. No invitation. You were moving alone. God just brought you. It's not because you just came. You are aligning yourself with prophecy. I bring you a prophetic word, Koinonia. Do you not read the handwritings on the wall? There is a season we are entering. A season you are entering. God is connecting you with those who need your gifts. God bless you. Remember our teaching on destiny help us. Many of you are at the level you are now. All you need is somebody who needs your gift. I tell you the truth. The wine presser had access to the king but did not have the ability to interpret dreams. Joseph had potential but no access to the king. But when Joseph and the wine presser met, the Bible says the king sent for Joseph. They shaved him and he came out of his dungeon. I prophesy to you that in this season, God is bringing someone. God will announce your gift. God will take you to a place that only your gift will be needed. I prophesy to you by the unction of the Lord. Listen. It is only the process of God's dealings that take time. The coming of the blessing does not take time. It is the dealing. It will happen in one day. It will happen in one day. Joseph sleeps as a prisoner. Wakes up the next day. The guy shaving him did not know he was shaving the prime minister. He would have said, as I'm shaving you, remember me. Some of you are seeing the person by your side. You are seeing him shouting. Saliva is pouring from his mouth as he's praying. Forget the saliva. Sorry if he's pours on you. But let me tell you, when God begins to bless men and women in this house, mark my word, it will make you afraid. There are some of you here, you left certain lifestyles because you wanted to come to God. And that your allegiance to God has been punishing you because you have to align to some things. I bring you a word from the Lord. Though weeping and just for a night, my Bible tells me that joy comes with the morning. How many of you have been tired of waking up one night? You just don't want to stay. You are praying that morning should come. And then suddenly you will sleep and wake up and see it's 8 o'clock. The morning had come. Lord. Your morning will come in a glorious 
and glamorous way that God will prove it. And I believe that God is visiting families in a dramatic way. Go and send text messages to your loved ones and tell them this is the prophetic word. We are connecting you. This is not just healing of HIV and this. Thank God for those things. But let me tell you, an angel is measuring a thousand cubits over Koinonia. He's saying you have been faithful in this. Move deeper. And we will bring strangers. The Bible says strangers shall feed your flock. Where you will see somebody will come and say you don't know me. You don't need to know me. I'm sponsoring transporting people for the whole of this year. Don't announce it. Things will happen that will amaze you. Make sure you are lying in the flow. Are you ready to pray? Pair yourselves into two. Quickly, please rise up. Instrumentalists help me. Pair yourselves into two because we are going to pray. Please, if you are holding a, a lazy person and is not praying, leave him alone. Leave him and hold somebody that will help you get to where your destiny is. Lift your voice like a saint and begin to pray. Hold the person's hands. Lord, we take your word. We take your word. It's a season of reward for the house of Koinonia. We believe your word. You are not a man that you should lie. Days from now. Days from now. Days from now. The cloud is full of rain. The cloud is full of rain. And there will be a heavy downpour upon sons and daughters until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. And then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and the fruitful vine for a forest. Pray. Divine acceleration. Prosperity. Financial prosperity happening days from now financial prosperity a reign of wealth i tell you by the spirit of god new levels of grace new levels of grace new levels of grace who are thou mountain before the rubabel thou shall become plain at the shout of grace 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 in your academic place grace to run like Elijah in your job grace 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 in your career the grace of the Lord step into visions step into dreams joy overflowing in the name of Jesus your days of discouragement are over your days of mourning are over as a servant of the Lord I bring those days to an end I interrupt your life with a prophetic word arise shine arise shine arise shine arise Shine. The glory of the Lord is upon you. 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 Mount up with wings as eagles. Mount up with wings as eagles. You will run and not be weary. You will walk and not faint. You will run and not be weary. You will walk and not faint. They that be planted in the house of God, they shall flourish like the cedars of Lebanon. They that be planted in the house of God, they shall flourish. Hallelujah. Mark my word. This will happen days from now. It will be an avalanche not on a few not on a few prosperity is coming i hear the sound 
of the abundance of rain new levels of anointing i hear the sound scrolls are being opened in the spirit portals of favor portals of grace we shout grace we shout grace at the shout of grace koinonia grace unto you koinonia grace unto you grace and peace be multiplied to you grace and peace move at the speed of grace beyond what you walk for beyond your connection beyond who you know i bring families out of dungeons of failure dungeons of poverty let the book of remembrance be opened over families let the book of remembrance be opened for your faithfulness let the book of remembrance be open for your diligence let the book of remembrance be open for thou O lord art a shield for us for thou O lord art a shield for us for our glory the lifter up of our heads and my head shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and my head shall thou exalt like the horn of the unicorn and my head shall thou exalt shall thou exalt like the horn of the unicorn and i shall be anointed with fresh oil i shall be anointed with fresh oil the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he makes me lie down he makes me lie down in green pasture he leads me beside the quiet waters he restores my soul and guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake day though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup overflows surely goodness mercy prosperity influence increase grace glory honor and praise follow me i pray take it take it brother come on pray just for one more minute just for one more minute I take it all God. I take it all God. I believe your word. I position my spirit. I open the door. Here the battle of Maragoa. I am the children that the Lord has given me. We are for signs and wonders in Israel. Before you this day, blessing and cursing. I said before you this day, life and death. But I advise you choose life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. I just want us to sing one song. Just one song. As a sincere cry. Lord, step in to the impossible. Oh, yes. Come on, provoke the hand of God. Change the story of families. Break through. Break through. Let there be a ray of prophetic breakthrough. Overnight miracles. By the power of God. Sing it as I prophesy to you. I speak as a servant of God. Under the abundance of grace that have been given. Let every door that has been closed over your life. I command gates. I command doors. Be open. Let the windows of heaven 
the windows of abundance, the windows of grace, the windows of influence, the windows of peace, the windows of power, the windows of speed. I throw forth into your spirit. Sing it from your heart. Sing it from your heart. Lord, step in. Lord, step in. In the lives of people. Yes, connection, grace, grace, one more time, one more time. Let's hold our hands as a family of faith, lift it up to God, we are agreeing. We are saying, Lord, step in. God is not a man that you should lie. Lift it as high above your head. We are going to sing this song together. Are you ready now? Lord, step in. As a family of faith, my God, let there be a rain of breakthrough, prophetic seasons of abundance. God and my king I pray I did not call myself you have called me and you gave me a revelation of this word the Bible says bless ye the Lord the angels who excel in strength the Bible says who confirmed the words of his messengers please keep the hands lifted hallelujah Hallelujah. I prophesy. Lord God of Israel. It was like this many years ago. When our father Solomon stood in front of that temple. And on behalf of the nation of Israel he cried unto you. My God I pray. As a family of faith. For we are serving. A living God, His name is Jesus Christ. He died and He rose. Just sing it one more time. I am serving. upon this holy ground and I declare on behalf of the people you have called you are the head of this ministry my God I declare that every door that is closed over anyone here and any family here as sure as the Lord lives let that door be opened this night Oh God of Zion, hear your people speedily. Let there be a dispatch of angels. In the name of Jesus, we release angels to homes. By the word of the Lord, we release finance angels. We release breakthrough angels. We release angels of deliverance. 
We release angels of wisdom. Amen. We release angels of grace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy to you. Grace. Amen. Grace. Amen. Great grace upon you. Great grace upon you. Amen. Without sweat, begin to enter some dimensions. Amen. Without sweat, enter some levels. Amen. I call forth your destiny helpers from the north the south the east and the west i provoke a connection my god you are called the father of spirits connect your people to those who need their gifts i command visions i command ideas i open doors of opportunities May you see revelations in the night. Amen. May the angels of the Lord visit you. Amen. May they give you ideas. Amen. May the kings of your destiny look for you. Amen. And bring you out, the, out of the dungeons of your life. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Amen. Academic breakthrough. Amen. Marital breakthrough. Amen. Breakthrough in your academics. Amen. Spiritual breakthrough career breakthrough Amen. your days of waiting are over Amen. as the servant of God I declare that let your steps be like that of chariots Amen. let the wealth of the wicked that has been laid for the righteous let it find itself to your hands Amen. Gentiles come to your light Amen. kings to the brightness of your rising where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. Be exalted because you have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even our God, tonight may he anoint you with an oil of gladness above your failures. Rise to a new level in the name of Jesus. I declare, whatever has made you cry, behold a new season of laughter I prophesy to you behold a new season of laughter the Egyptians that you see today I declare by the unction of the mighty one that you will see them no more forever and may the Lord give you a new name let Jacob be changed to Isaac let Abraham be changed to Abraham. Amen. Let Sarai be called Sarah. Amen. Let Cephas become Peter. Amen. Let Saul become Paul. Amen. The Bible says, For he that endures to the end, he shall be given a crown and a white stone. I call your season of abundance. Amen. Tonight in the heavens, let the book of remembrance be opened. And let the days of your faithfulness be replayed before the presence of his majesty. Let the times of your prayer and fasting rise up as a sweet smelling sour. My God visit your people. Let the old proverbs be a thing of the past in your life. The Bible says a time will come that proverb will no longer be used in Israel. I set you free from everything that has limited you. Amen. You are unlimited. Amen. I set you free Amen. by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The fire of the Holy Ghost consumes everything that attempts to limit your destiny. Amen. I deliver you from inferiority complex. Amen. That demonic voice that tells you you cannot make it. Amen. Whose report will you believe tonight? I bring you a word rise up thou champion of God I speak to your spirit rise up from the dust I command your spirit rise up for you are not weak I send you a word of prophecy it says and the spirit entered me and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet where your destiny has been tied down so that you will not arise as the star rose when Jesus was born let a star rise above you and call wise men to your tabernacle.
whatever has covered your glory and has shielded you in the name that is above all names I declare that that light and that veil let it be taken from your eyes all the opportunities you've been you've lost in the past I stand mistakes of the past whatever it is I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus I prophesy to you remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for tonight the Lord is doing a new thing tonight the Lord is doing a new thing he will make a way for you where there is no way for those of you who have fallen the Bible says is there hope for a tree though it be cut down I bring you a word tonight listen it says there is hope for a tree though it be cut down at the scent of water there are some of you here you have dreams and you started working on it but things happened and you fell back again and the devil spoke lies to you I bring you a word tonight the Bible says in the book of Amos that a lion eats up a sheep to the point that there is only an ear and two legs yet the shepherd runs after that lion and recovers that ear and two legs what will you do with an ear and two legs the lion has eaten the whole animal but the shepherd still ran let me tell you the miracle is not in what you have lost the miracle is in what you have left for if you will give thanks with it like five loaves and two fish you will lift it up let me tell you there will be multiplication for this is the season of multiplication hear the word of the Lord you are not small you are great he made you so you may come from a small village but you are great you may not be able to speak English but the hand of God is upon you men have called you names you may be staying in a hut you came here not eating but I bring you a prophecy enjoy these days because they are going forever you will never see them again but the psalmist says since I was young now I am old I have never seen the righteous forsaken even if it looks like you are forsaken calm down God is never too late behold he comes the Bible says and the son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings I bring a word of comfort to someone as we round up it's not over hear me I prophesy to you you can start again it doesn't matter what has happened in your life I don't care what has happened in your family it doesn't matter how bad it is my brother you may have been drinking and smoking you are struggling you are with God you are not with God let no man condemn you tonight there is strength for you and I command the Bible says and they told the prophet they said where we meet with you is too small let us go to the Jordan and then the axe head fell and the prophet said where did it fall I command miracles that you cannot explain and the woman who lost her son in Nain the Bible says they were already going to go and bury that child suddenly Jesus stepped on the way many of you are about to close some chapters but Jesus is holding it back he's saying who is asking you to close it for who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not instructed it are you hearing me tonight I'm prophesying to you and the Bible saw them and Jesus saw them and said bring back and he brought him back to life three significant death incidences in the Bible the first one the child just died and Jesus came to him and looked came to the lady and said Talita Kumi girl I say unto you arise who is God speaking tonight God is speaking to some people tonight there are some of you that this is all the prophecy you need tonight Talita Kumi to your spiritual life Talita Kumi to your finance to your self worth Talita Kumi I prophesy to you arise I prophesy to you arise and the Bible says Lazarus was sick and when he was sick Jesus said it is not unto death there are some of you you were going through certain challenges and God told you it will be better but it did not get better it went worse and the Bible says and Lazarus died for four days and Jesus said do you not know that I am not just the one who heals I am also the resurrection son of man what seest thou he said an almond tree he said you have seen correct right we see correctly 
God is restoring dreams and shattered lives. Tonight, I'm going to make a very special altar call. All of you listen to me. There is, a, there is an anointing for restoration. The beginner's anointing is coming on some, some people. For some of you, God is not opening new chapters. He's giving you a new book entirely. Listen to me. This is, this is not just, there are two altar calls here tonight. The first, please don't just be emotional. Hallelujah. I'm talking about those, before we take those who are not born again. You are born again, you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Don't just come being emotional. You know, you know that for some reason in your life, you have found yourself struggling at the same spot, at the same level. I'm not just, I know we are oppressed. There are some people, for some of you, it's your family. You know this is, you know what I'm saying. The same cycle, the same spot, spiritually and otherwise. Please, I'd like you to lift your hands. Let me see how many people. Run out here quickly. Please, very quickly. We just have three minutes to do everything we have to do. Please, don't just be emotional. Don't be emotional and just come out. There are some people just stand. Come near, come near. Come near to the extreme. Don't be ashamed. This is a school. This is a prophetic place. God is wiping someone's tears tonight. Believe me. Every time you are in trouble, God sends a prophetic word. When he sends a prophetic word, it can change your story in one day. Hallelujah. All of you that are standing, if there's no space, just stand there. Just stand there outside. Just stand in faith. Faith is the most important thing. Listen, some of you have struggled in the same spot for years. You would have been far ahead of you love the Lord. For some of you, it's your mistakes. Some of you, it's your carelessness. Whatever it is, it does not matter. I bring you a word tonight. No man condemns you. Are you listening to me? There is that precious blood that flows from Emmanuel's vein and is going to speak mercy for you. Lift your hands. I want to prophesy and curse whatever legal hold that Satan has over your life and destiny that is keeping you where you are. Hallelujah. I'd like you to shout amen when I ask you to like your life depends on it. You just need to believe. Some of you will be looking at me. It will look like magic. See, when a servant of God stands, he can change your story with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I don't know the stories that are represented here. But tonight I tell you there is one who is mightier than I. Some of you are supposed to have been married. Some of you are supposed to have left some levels. You are intelligent. You are bright. You are brilliant. But tonight, I'm praying for you. Lift your hands. My God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Satan, take your hands. Come out of her now. Come out now. Out of her. This lady has been tied. I release you tonight. Now. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Your destiny must open up. I tell you, something prophetic is happening in this place. Lift your hands, please. As I make this pronouncement, some of you will see visions of things happening immediately. Hallelujah. I'm going to shout, be open. That's the instruction God gives me. As I make that shout, some of you will literally feel something leaving you. And that will be the end of it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be open! Be open! Close destinies! Be open! Be open! Be open! Be open! 
be open. Breakthrough. I release breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. In your marriage, breakthrough. Every limitation before you, I burn it to ashes now. In the name of Jesus. Doors open for you. Gates open for you. Run with the spirit of Elijah. I'd like you to go back to your seat rejoicing. A miracle has happened to you. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Many of you will come back with testimonies of the fearful hand of God. Now, very quickly, we've taken so much time. You've never given your heart to the Lord. Look at me, please. Inside and outside, listen. You've never given your heart to the Lord. You've not made a decision for Jesus. You may be a nice person, but you've not opened up your heart to receive salvation. Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but because of the cares of this life, you have found yourself derailing. Please, everybody stand. We're rounding up. Everybody stand up. Please, wherever you are, tonight a new beginning starts for you. My brother and my sister outside, leave your seat and come right now. Jesus is calling you. Koinonia, begin to clap for them as they come. I know that there are people. Don't be ashamed of anyone. God is giving you a new beginning. Inside and outside. You've never made a decision for Jesus. Or you've made a decision for Jesus. And you found yourself derailing. They are coming. Keep appreciating them. There are some of you here. Don't be ashamed. Don't let your friends stop you. It's a new beginning. Welcome home. Welcome home. It's a new beginning. There are still some people outside. The Lord is showing me. The devil is a liar. He cannot hold your destiny to ransom. You have cried alone. But tonight, God is giving you a new beginning. I still see a few people outside. The Lord is giving me words about people outside. Don't remain there. The Lord is still calling people. Hallelujah. Look at me. This is the best decision you would have made in your life. For the Bible says, any man who comes to him, he will in no wise cast away. Lift your hands to heaven. Those of you in front. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. Come and join us, sister. Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died for me. You shed your blood for my sins. Today, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. The past is gone. This is a new beginning. In the name of Jesus, I denounce sin and Satan. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Today, you are my God. Forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Lord, preserve these ones. Bless and preserve them. No going back. Your salvation will be authentic and be genuine. From today, you are growing from grace to grace. And one dimension of God's spirit to another. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.